uh, one of the behind-the-scenes uh, videos that I'm going to be doing for my next Space Engineers Weekly Workshop Roundup. I'm, I'm probably going to be doing, um, uh, I'm probably going to be doing behind-the-scenes videos for, well, other episodes of the SEWWR. Ma maybe I'll actually sort of transform those into like first impressions things because this is basically what what this is going to be. Um, uh, so in this. I'm basically just going to show you how I review planets. It's not that professional or, you know, really journalistic or anything. It's just literally me getting in, playing around, and seeing what I think of a given planet. This is um, LV-253 by Sectan, and it's absolutely gorgeous, as you can tell. I mean, just wow. L look at this. Uh, I tried to film it a couple of minutes ago, but the recording got corrupted, so here I am having to refilm. and uh, by the way, before I get into this, I'm also probably going to be starting off um, subscriber build contests, and I know I'm most likely not going to actually get any submissions for this, but your challenge for this, uh, for this subscriber build contest, should you choose to accept it, is... And this, uh, even if you can't accept it because the lens generation of this planet seems to be a little bit freaked out for me, but if you find this specific spike, here's a good look at the terrain so you can see all of it. Your challenge is to build a base on top of this massive land spike. So... I'm going to be reviewing all the submissions. You can send me pictures or whatever, uh, but you have to put them up. Uh, you have to put your submissions up on the workshop so I can download them. Um, so you put your submissions up on the workshop, and I play with each one, and I see which one I like the best, and whichever one I like the I like the best gets featured in an MC Zinman video. How dope is that, guys? Okay, well, at this point, it's probably not too dope. I only have 150 subscribers. By the way, thanks for, thanks for your 150 subscribers. Like, that's crazy. When I started the channel, I, you know, I obviously had big hopes for it. I really wanted to be another big Minecraft channel, but that kind of went nowhere. And now I'm hoping to be a big Space Engineers channel. And, um, well, if you enjoy my content... Please make sure to go ahead and subscribe. I would be very, very indebted to you if you were to do that. I mean, but seriously, 150 subscribers, guys, that's just crazy. I mean, in, in a world, in a world where really it's hard to get noticed, even scrounging up this many subscribers is just quite the feat, especially for a game with such a small uh community is space engineers you know in the grand scheme of things compared to like minecraft for instance that's got a an absolutely huge uh, fan base absolutely absolutely incredible um and well obviously here's hoping to space engineers getting a, a far larger fan base because this is a game that absolutely deserves it and the the members of the community like the community that has assembled around this game is, uh, is just awesome but anyway so that's enough of me bumbling around and just uh making a fool of myself i'm gonna spawn in the typhoon should i do the uh, apollo or the osiris gt um the osiris gt is probably the one that I'm going to be uploading to the workshop next, so I'll go ahead and spawn that in. Probably do a Space Engineers MCZ stuff on this, uh, just to give you guys a full tour of it, because it, it is an awesome ship. But anyway, so this is how I review plants. So the first thing I do is, well, I spawn in the Osiris. Oh, I'll spawn the plant first, obviously, but I spawn in the Osiris, and I just go and have a look at this sort of general terrain and see what we're dealing with here. As you can see, uh, I keep wanting to call it LV-426. It's LV-2-5-3, 
253 LV 253 MCC um uh, but anyway so I just spawn it in and I take a look around and just you know go for a nice peaceful fly over it and well I just take in the sights and see what we're dealing with wow this is a gorgeous mountain range here uh, uh, thank you for spawning and subsequently disappearing terrain over there that was awesome of you I guess <laughs> but wow this is a beautiful beautiful I'm seriously getting okay like m my older subs will probably remember that I had a series one uh, a series in Minecraft that was called Barcraft and those videos got privated for well uh, uh, quite this, this strange reason uh, it's, it's a long it's a tail and a half but I'm not gonna regale you guys with it but I uh, it was basically me traversing this um weird Minecraft this weird weird Minecraft world there was a lot like this actually so I'm getting some serious Farcraft uh, vibes from it, uh, from this. Heck, I might, I might just unprivate those videos and rename them, uh, just so you guys can get a glimpse of what I was, you know, what I'm talking about. But yeah, this just looks really freaking dope. Now, when I spawned the plant in, I saw, uh, I saw a desert zone somewhere over. I believe in this direction, so we're gonna go ahead in that direction and see what that's all about. Um, but, wow, so far, it's just all I have to say. Of course, this is Sectan. I mean, Sectan makes some of the craziest, most awesome stuff for Space Engineers that, that, that I've ever seen. So, I mean, I don't know what else I could expect from Sectan, but th this definitely lives up to his name. So, from the looks of it, there's some, if this is the zone that I'm thinking of, it looks a little bit less like a desert, more like a sort of a tundra area. I mean, not all out tundra, but sort of like it's got some grass and mud. Woo, we barely avoided that. So yeah, it's, it's interesting to actually have a planet with so many different sort of biomes. Usually we've got like a uh, we've got like one biome on a plant. Oh, there it is right there. That's the desert zone that I was talking about if we could get stopped here. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to go and see what that is all about over there. It looks like it stretches out a little bit over here as well. So we've got three different biomes so far. We've got sort of the grassy greenlands. We've got the tundra over there that we were just in. And we've got uh, this uh, desert so super interesting that's really cool a uh, plant with three different biomes i think there's maybe a fourth that i saw in the screenshots it, i'm not sure if i'm recalling that correctly or not but i think there's a fourth biome that i'm uh, missing out on so i'm gonna maybe head over to the other side of the planet to check that out wow Whew. Man, this is beautiful. Space Engineers, for how graphically basic it is at times, it can be absolutely gorgeous. This is not a graphically strenuous game at all. And it's just... At, at points, it just looks so beautiful with the lighting and everything. And this is stock Space Engineers. I mean, think about that. That's, that's crazy for me. Uh, for, for me, you know, someone who's been in the game as long as I have. Uh, since 2014 to see it come graphically speaking this far from where it was all the way back then you know through the transition to DX11 to where it is now man it, at points it just looks absolutely gorgeous especially as you've seen um, hopefully with some of my videos uh, was 
just some of the ships that people make that just use the lighting engine in this game to absolutely stellar effect. Also, this is the night side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to actually shut my light off to be able to see here. So, night, the night side of things. Let's see what we can actually see. It would be nice if the Osiris had headlights. Um, it's not seen much. I think we should probably plop down a jackal and go for a little bit of an ex explore here. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Usually I wouldn't actually bother exploring the night side all that much. Usually I, you know, plop down the jackal on the day side. Because the jackal is, uh, for the most part, what I used to explore. Oh, cool. So this is uh, another sort of tundra area. Wow, this is a ravine and a half. That looks awesome. So let's uh, spawn in this new heavy jackal buggy that, um, that I saw on the workshop. If, if, if it would. I think it has headlights, so we should be able to... Yeah, it does. So we should be able to actually see relatively well. Once we get those kicked online. Uh, let's see. Okay. Definitely going to want to turn... Warning. Enemy detected. Okay, thank you, Siri. Eight, seven... So let's see what we're dealing with here in this jackal, shall we? Oh, never mind. Wait, our lights. What? What the heck was that? Did you see that? That was like a cyber hound that just got spaced by the jackal. Ah, oh, the spontaneity. Ah, okay, so let's. Oh, apparently, the cyber hound is perfectly fine. Wait. Okay, cool. So I didn't know that was actually a thing that, uh, that, that perhaps Keen had included. I had no idea that headlights are now bound to L. So that's kind of cool, actually. You don't have to have them take up a spot on your hotbar. Neato indeed. Warning, enemy detected. Okay, so it looks like we're dealing with some Warning, pretty severe. Shut up! Detected. Shut up, Siri. Warning, thank you. Enemy detected. Uh, yeah, thank you, Siri. I don't know why I'm calling her Siri, but yeah. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to really get out of this little bind that we've found ourselves in. Maximum number of bots is what? Okay. Okay, so this is a little bit weird. We're not really able to get out of this hole here. So, um, definitely not off to a great start with the exploration side of things. But let's actually, uh, well, I was going to say head back to the Osiris, but I've lost track of the Osiris. So, let's just spawn in another one. So, here we go. Got the old Osiris back, and there's actually one place, whoops, a little bit of a tail tap there with a spaceship. Never, never a good idea. Do not, do not perform drift stunts with spaceships. It tends to go poorly. Um, but anyway, so the, back on the day side of things, there's actually a little bit of a, an area that I do want to show you guys. It's super fun to explore. It's, uh, it's actually back where we spawned in it's yeah just crazy fun to explore it's like all the little sort of hills and little cliffs that uh and sometimes big cliffs that you uh, that you can crawl and it's well it's basically like the uh, right over there is some of it or is that the tundra i'm not sure yeah completely unscripted video here um yeah, so far, I, though, I have to say, with this plant, I'm having an absolute blast. I mean, Sec-10 really knocked it out of the park with this. Sec-10, you have to make more planets, dude. I mean, the only, uh, the only guy we really, who we really see on the workshop who really makes popular plants anymore is Dr. Octagonopus. 
and quite frankly, although he makes awesome stuff, and I definitely have nothing against his creations, I'm getting a little bit tired of, um, of, uh, ex of exploring his planets, although they're all beautiful and awesome, and we should totally go check them out. So yeah, this is what I was talking about over here. All of this hilly terrain is just amazing fun to explore. Just, just, well, first of all, look at, look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful view. I mean, I'm just going to stop here. Look at that, dude. That's crazy. That's beautiful. But, yeah. Mm. Anyway, so I'm going to spawn another jackal in here, and we're going to see how exploration is uh, for this part. Like I said, um, when I review stuff, I don't re really review it from a journalistic sort of uh, point of view, so whether it's objectively good or not, I just review things from the point of view of a guy who really likes space engineers and just really likes awesome stuff that awesome creators make for space engineers. So where should we plop down this jackal? I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, that, that perspective, I think, really helps me. Um, that really helps the quality of the videos because it gives them sort of a more down-to-earth perspective. Uh, I'm by no means a professional, and I don't really ever want to be, like, uh, like turn into a professional. I want to basically represent the everyman, uh, you know, just the regular player base when I, uh, when, you know, when I make a Space Engineers video, when I make a Space Engineers review, and I hope you guys sort of enjoy it like that, because, well... Well, it would kind of suck if you didn't, because that's what I tried to do. Anyway, oh, so let's actually plop it down. I'm trying to find a nice flat spot for it. Amongst all this, yeah, I know, I'm crazy. Um, let, let's plop you down right here, and hope you don't roll off the edge. Please don't. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I'm getting just as annoyed as you are, so let's actually have the HUD on and test the heavy jackal buggy out. Now this, this is an insanely capable off-roader. I'm just going to put it out there right now. Like, um, if you remember the jackal that, uh, died, whoa, 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 Warning, enemy detected. Quite frankly, I'm surprised that removed only one wheel. Uh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> but it's such a it's a very capable off-roader like if you remember the jackal buggy that I used in my um, most recent enemy detected. Uh, in my most recent SEWW arm uh, it's like the heavy is even more capable than that and we did we did like a 75% grade a 60-75% grade in that watch this alright this is what the heavy can do um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is totally, that's, that's a, no, your eyes did not deceive you, that's a thing that just happened in your life, this is crazy, this buggy is so crazy, it's very durable, extraordinarily durable, and it's got two seats so you can explore with a friend too, so, really, I think this is all around just about better than the original Jackal, and I didn't think I was ever, you can say that about, you know, an off-roading vehicle. Uh, but uh, turning to more serious matters, you, you guys are probably wondering why I haven't uploaded recently. And it's weird, all right, because uh, I intended the Space Engineers Workshop Roundup, which is what we're going to be calling it now. I originally intended it to be a weekly series. In fact, you know, I tried to make it you know as hard as I could I tried to make it weekly but just it's like the well the formula it's like you uh, okay the formula is like this like 
basically I give myself an entire week when I don't have like schoolwork or something, you know, college. I don't I don't have like college work to do. Um, I give myself pretty much all of my off time for a week. You know, just playing Space Engineers mods, obviously doing other stuff, playing other games that you don't see in the background, like Forza Motorsport 6, I have that run on my Xbox One right now. Um, but yeah, eventually, if I want to make this a, an absolutely weekly series, it's like I have to live and breathe Space Engineers. Like, my entire life has to be centered around just this one game, which is something that I really find myself struggling to do. I've done it a couple of times, but like by and large, it's, it's just really hard. Because I'm not the kind of person who is satisfied with just living and breathing one singular gaming experience 24-7. I like my gaming life to be very... And eventually after a while, it gets boring and I have to like... Uh, well, that was kind of sick. But I, ha I have to like sort of bring myself away from it for a bit which is where the where the uh oh we just lost our gyroscopes there that's fantastic uh so that's where the seasons sort of come from it's like um it's just like i get bored of it so i take a break and then i come back to it and um it's 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 crazy it's it's a very strenuous thing because like, uh, even when I'm firing on all cylinders and I'm just keeping the schedule 100%, it's like Monday through Wednesday is, you know, is just testing mods and ships and stuff like that and planets. And, um, it's, uh, and then, like, uh, the rest of the week, Monday, uh, so that's Monday through Wednesday. So, like, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Gosh dang it. Okay, disclaimer. I never saw it was the best in offering it this game, but screw it. We're, we're three, like, three wheeling it for the foreseeable future. But, so then... Enemy <laughs> detected. <laughs> that, that was kind of funny. He just bounced off the tree there. But anyway, so... Turning back to... Enemy detected. Turning back to more serious... Uh, the more serious discussion. Thursday and Friday. Warning, enemy detected. I swear, I'll just find a way to shut this up. But anyway, so Thursday and Friday are uh, uh, are filming, you know, and making sure that everything's all ready to go, and editing and all that. And then Saturday comes around, or Sunday, and you know, it, it's those are basically the only days I really have to myself to do other stuff that I want to do in my gaming life and it's kind of uh, kind of kind of a little bit stressful but so then I come back to Space Engineers and I'm like you know what I'm gonna hit this with I'm gonna hit this full force and um, that's uh, uh, and then I do that for a little bit and then I get bored and it's a vicious circle and that's where the seasons come from and that's why you can't really expect me to be reliable as far as uploading as much as I've tried. I mean, I've, uh, I'm just being straight up with you guys. Like, I tried as hard as I could to make it weekly, and I just can't. So, for that, I apologize. We're calling it the Space Engineers Workshop Roundup for the foreseeable future, and hopefully... Under this name, I can get it back weekly, but I'm not saying yay or nay. It's just, you know, the way things are, and uh, it kind of kind of sucks it has to be this way, but maybe, hopefully, I'll find other ways to keep you engaged with Space Engineers content in a way that doesn't, like, drain the rest of my gaming uh, life. Are, are we seriously back where we started? I think we are. <laughs> but, so yeah, that's, what, that's what's up. That's what's going on with the channel. I've been thinking of maybe a couple of other series. Um, they're in the, uh, they're, you know, I've had, 
ideas for a while now. Um, if I could get this one, uh, okay, this one series is pretty epic. I think you'll like it. Um, so the, the one series I'm talking about, the, well, Space Engineers, I'm calling it super fun for now because it's kind of like the same idea as Channel Super Fun if you've ever watched those guys. Um, it's just me and a couple of friends, you know, Kong's Cobra and maybe Fiery Gamer, just messing around in Space Engineers and just doing some awesome stuff. Um, like, uh, for instance, there's this one awesome Rocket League map that uh, Meow Captain made. So I've been thinking maybe teaming up with uh, Kong's Cobra and Fiery Gamer, who's an, a, another small YouTuber uh, who does space games quite a lot. You should go check him out. Uh, links, uh, link to his channel will be in the description. But, yeah, so, um, been thinking of doing that, you know, just lighthearted, super fun content. Yeah, just a couple guys messing around. And, uh, call, uh, another thing that, uh, I've had an idea for for a while now, I think you guys are really gonna like this too, is subscriber cruises. Yeah, that probably sounds like a bit of a bombshell to you guys. Um, but it would be what says on the tin. Um, every, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks, month, maybe every subscriber milestone, uh, we would just hop in, uh, you know, we'd just hop on a singular server that, you know, like a creative server on some, uh, or something like that. And, uh, you know, we just have this one ship and we just fly it like together as a team and we all go exploring around the ship and just have some fun flying in space dude like you know just just go crazy and just uh, just really enjoying the crap out of ourselves and you know so like we could have people doing like different shifts like we could have uh, some players like one group of players they get 45 minutes on the bridge and other people have to do other stuff and you know other players to be off duty or so something like that i don't know we'll probably work out the specifics once we actually start the uh start the series but so if you're interested in that definitely make sure to let me know down in the comments and it, you know if you have a steam username be sure to let me know so i can maybe add you as a as a friend and we could go hang out together I, I think that would be awesome to be able to engage with my subscribers because that's not, that's not something that a lot of channels really do. They don't have like, they don't like play with subscribers, which is something that I think, you know, people are missing out on. I mean, uh, I, that would just be so, so cool for me, you know, and hopefully for you as well. So, um, yeah, I think that's really all the ideas that I have. That, well, I'm also considering making this behind-the-scenes series of regular things. So, like, when I'm filming in SEWR, I can take you guys behind, uh, well, behind the scenes a little bit and give you guys a little bit of an idea of how it is to actually film one of these giant behemoth productions because that's what they feel like. Uh, also, one other thing. We're going to be doing random subscriber of the day things. So, uh, when you subscribe, you know, if you want to be featured in, in the next video, you don't necessarily have to do this, but um, if you want to be featured in the next video, uh, you know, first of all, I just want to make it clear that I'm not doing this really to boost subscriber counts. I'm just doing it as a return favor for my subscribers. So I, I want to make sure, I'm going to actually probably adjust my outro for this, but I want to make sure that, you know, you guys subscribe because you like my content, not because you want to be part of some shout out. Um, so let me just say right now, um, if all, only do this if you really like my stuff and you uh, do want to be in one of my videos because you genuinely like my content. Uh, just hit the subscribe button and 
leave a comment down below saying I subbed and I will probably, um, well, it's possible that I'll pick you in the next video, put your comment up on the screen for everybody to see and you might get some nice exposure if you're a little YouTube channel like me. But anyway, so, if you like this video, then go ahead and bits up that like button. If you really, really like it and you want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be featured in the next video, then go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment saying that I subscribed and you may be picked to feature in the next video. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. MCZ.